Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading. You guys, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hope everybody is doing well. We're gonna take a look at your love life from February 1st through February 15th, 2019. This is collective love energy for Taurus. If it resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments, all right? Also, if you need a private reading, go ahead and click the link below. It'll take you right to my website and you can book your personal reading. I'm on Instant Go as well. Water and Fire Tarot. All right, as always, I do have a potty mouth. If it bothers you, just go ahead and click off now. And if not, hang around and we're just gonna have a really nice chat. All right, Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, love only for Taurus, February 1st through February 15th, 2019. What is the collective love energy for Taurus, please? February 1st through the 15th. I'm gonna use the Rider weight, and then I'll use a separate deck to clarify. Let's see what's coming in for Taurus. One more shuffle, you guys, I feel. And then we're gonna get going for Taurus, sun, moon. Rising Venus. All right, let's go ahead and cut it and do it. Taurus, here we go. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. All right, let's see what's coming in for you guys. Taurus, sun, moon, rising. Venus, you can never forget Venus, Taurus. You just can't. Not when it comes to love. Matters of the heart. There you guys are showing up. All right, all right. I always hold the cards up so you guys can see them better too. So just bear with me here. Bear with me. All right, bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Swords. What's going on, you guys? Up in your head. That's that mental energy, anxiety, fear, where you just think about the same thing over and over again. Might be losing some sleep. Maybe can't eat, can't sleep, that kind of thing. Let's see what's going on. Let me take a look here. All right, coming in, we do have the Three of Swords, okay? So there could have been a third-party involvement, obviously, but the Three of Swords break up sadness, some type of disappointments going on here, Taurus. What is up? What's influencing that or the challenge is the Nine of Wands, fire energy. You know, it's like that caution, fear, anxiety again, right? But the Nine of Wands is going to persevere, but that's your challenge here because there's some type of heartbreak or disappointment or sadness, so the challenge is going to be, you know, reflecting on the past, being cautious, leery, protective, tired, exhausted. Because of that, the challenge is going to be to pick up the pieces and keep going, fighting for it, waiting for it. Now, in the recent past, you guys have the Six of Wands in reverse. So something failed, right? Or you guys felt like some type of, um, like you failed in a love situation or there was a lack of victory or success. Now, on your mind is the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So here goes your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, on your mind is you guys are letting go of something that you were holding on to, okay? You're no longer holding on as tightly as you were. The situation, why everything's happening, we have the Eight of Swords, more mental energy, a lot of mental energy here, you guys. So, you know, feeling like you're in that mental prison, thinking about the same negative things over and over again, very stuck and tied and bound to a situation, you see yourself right now as the world. So you're, you see yourself as going through some big change here. The world is an ending or a new cycle opening up. Some type of ending here. But you guys are still, somebody in the scenario is still trapped and tied to it. What you're going to experience coming in is the Six of Swords. So more air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you know, moving on, basically. Literally could be moving, but also just moving on mentally, getting to a better place. I think the person that still feels tied and bound to it, I think it's the other person. Because you see yourself as going through an ending here, like a new cycle, okay? Somebody in this scenario is really in their head. Now, outside influences coming in that you don't see is the higher fit in reverse. So here you are, major account for Taurus, a breakup, a divorce, somebody that just doesn't want to commit. Somebody's moving on. For some of you, we're moving on from a marriage here. Or a commitment, all right? I hate to say. Don't shoot the messenger, all right? If it's not your story, it's not, but it's for somebody. All right, hopes or fears is the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, I usually think of it as a Virgo, but it's just the energy, right? The Knight of Pentacles is moving on, but very, very cautiously, very slowly, okay? 
the Knight of Pentacles, the energy is just, it's the slowest moving night in the deck, of course. We know that, right? But it's because they're building. They want to offer something. But the Knights are always coming, they're going. So you're in your emotions right now. You're exiting or somebody is, but being very, very careful and cautious. Most likely outcome, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? So a lack of a passionate new beginning. Could be a false start too, so just be careful of that. Sometimes that Ace of Wands in reverse is like something starts quickly, but then it ends quickly. All right, it's all due to this though, this Eight of Swords. Somebody's very, very trapped in their thoughts. All right, let's clarify for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, February 1st through February 15th, 2019. What can Taurus expect in love, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. What is coming in for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect in love, please? February 1st through February 15th, 2019. Zodiac sign of Taurus. I'll just throw it out there, too. Sometimes that Eight of Swords can literally mean um, somebody's, you know, in jail. So I'm just saying, for some of you, that may resonate. Um, but the overall energy with this Nine of Swords is just a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety in this energy. All right, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, February 1st through the 15th. Y'all know me by now. I don't sugarcoat anything, right? I don't really care about, you know, getting likes and, and all that kind of stuff and money and private readings. I'm not going to sugarcoat something just so somebody comes to me for a private reading. That's not how I work on this channel, okay? I just lay out the cards and I use my intuition and my knowledge of tarot and I deliver the message, all right? And the other thing people have to realize is that when you watch a tarot reading, it's not always your story. So don't freak out. It could be for somebody else, all right? All right, Taurus. That being said, what is coming in, please, for the zodiac sign of Taurus, February 1st through the 15th, 2019? Here we go. All right, let's start clarifying and see what else we can find out. All right, let's get this overall energy. We have the Nine of Swords. So why is this Nine of Swords the overall energy for Taurus? What's this Nine of Swords about? Why is the Nine of Swords the overall energy for Taurus? And we have the King of Swords in reverse. A lot of you are dealing with air. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody that was lying to you or that is just very, very cut off. That King of Swords in reverse can be a liar, manipulator, or somebody that's cut out, right? And it's just very, very detached. The overall energy, though, is there's a lot of fear, worry, and anxiety over this energy, even if it's not an air sign. It's just somebody that's been eliminated, and maybe it was because they just, well, weren't acting right, or they're very, very detached and cold. Now, coming in right now, we have the Three of Swords. Let's see why. Why is this Three of Swords coming in right now for Taurus? What's the Three of Swords about? Justice in reverse. Yeah, lies. More lies. Sign of Libra. Okay? Could have been due to a third party. But coming in right now, this current energy is there's some sadness, a breakup, deception, third party, that kind of shit. Justice in reverse can be a divorce as well. Contracts within marriage, justice. But it's in the reverse. So somebody wasn't done right here or lied to. All right. Challenge is this Nine of Wands. Why is this Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands the challenge for Taurus? The Ten of Wands, we go from a nine to a ten, so we're completing a cycle here, but that's the challenge, is to lay this burden down. There's a long cycle of burdens here in your love life, guys, and it's, you know, it's closing out. We've got the world and we have the ten here, both completion of a cycle. Heavy, heavy burdens, pressure, worry, okay? Now, in the past, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse here in the past for Taurus? The Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. Somebody probably exited. All right, that again, the knights are coming, they're going. The knight of wands is pretty fast. It's passion, it's action. It can be the card of travel, but there was a lack of victory or success here or somebody just feel like they failed in a love situation. Could have been, knight of wands can be kind of that player, somebody that doesn't want to commit anymore or it's just the energy of due to the lack of success, somebody just took off with the knight of wands. Now on your mind, Taurus, is this four of pentacles in reverse? Why is this on Taurus's mind? Four of pentacles in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah, letting go of a relationship, okay, but also wanting a brand new beginning. That's your energy, Earth. Ace of Pentacles, it's a practical new beginning. It has potential. It has stability. But a lot of you on your mind, what's crowning it is you're letting go. You're no longer holding on to a long-term commitment and wanting something new, okay? I feel like most likely whoever y'all are dealing with is still really in their head and tied and bound to the situation, but they're remaining icy, why is this Eight of Swords here in the foundation for Taurus? A lot of you are just focused on money too. 
Could have been money loss in this relationship as well. Why is this Eight of Swords in the Foundation for Taurus? What's the Eight of Swords about? The King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, they could have fire in their chart as well. Some of you feel very, very tied and bound to this fire sign, or they do to you, right? Now, coming in, we have, if not, then the energy of the King of Wands is just action, passion, usually something that's very creative, charismatic, right? People notice he takes action, very, you know, secure. It's kind of that energy, but somebody's tied and bound to the situation. Now, what you're going to experience coming in, Taurus, is the Six of Swords. So somebody's moving on. Why is the Six of Swords coming in for Taurus? Devil in reverse, sign of Capricorn. We're releasing toxic energy, no longer feeling tied and bound to a situation. I feel like that's y'all, okay? Letting go of, you know, obsessions or just toxic, unhealthy situations in your love life. You guys are moving on from that. You see yourself right now as the world. Why does Taurus see themselves as the world? Page of Pentacles, here's your energy. Because you guys want to invest, right? You guys want to, the Page of Pentacles is a new investment. It could be work-related as well. Why, why the Page of Pentacles, though? Let's see why. This is like value, you know? The Page of Pentacles always has value or potential. Those coins and pentacles are all about worth and value. Why is this Page of Pentacles here? The world in reverse okay so for some of you it is you that feels trapped here because it, you're you see yourself as going through an ending but you still want to offer something or you see value and potential you may want to communicate with somebody here because the world in reverse you have a lack of closure all right it'll be different for everybody but this is i'm reading this as taurus this is how you see yourself right now why is the world in reverse here for taurus why is the world in reverse and the hierophant here you are again taurus a lot of you have a lack of closure here with this commitment or this marriage, okay? Feeling very tied and bound to it, all right? But coming in, somebody's moving on and releasing toxicities, no longer feeling chained and bound. All right, so outside influence is coming in that you don't see, Taurus, is the Hierophant in reverse, your major arcana. Why is this Hierophant in reverse coming in? And the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Again, somebody's letting go here, okay? And that's what's on your mind, too. It'll be different. Some of you are doing this, and for some of you, this is being done to you. The majority, I, I see it now as, the, as you guys still really wanting to probably work on this, okay? Because you guys are lacking closure here with an ending. Now, your hopes or fears is the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe that after slow, careful progress that that pentacle will be offered again. What's this Knight of Pentacles, though? What's the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Okay, this is for you. A lot of you, this is you. I mean, this is Earth energy, feeling very tied and bound. You guys are feeling stuck and trapped in your heads here with the Eight of Swords. Again, just kind of revisiting those thoughts, those negative thoughts over and over again. Why the Eight of Swords? Yeah, the Ace of Cups, because I think a lot of you are still in love. You want to heal and you want to renew this as well with the Ace of Cups. One more card on the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is self-healing energy. It's also obviously being in love. Why the Ace of Cups? Seven of Pentacles. See, you're still invested. This is your energy earth, okay? Again, if it's not you, switch the energy. But again, this is how I'm seeing it for Taurus. Seven of Pentacles is reflecting, looking back on the past, still waiting, investing, right? Because there's love here. Now, the most likely outcome shows the Ace of Wands in reverse. Why is this Ace of Wands in reverse for Taurus's outcome? Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse here for Taurus? Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, again, I was seeing a lot of, like, long-term commitment energy here in marriage, and this is it again, another ten, another cycle completion. Ten of Pentacles is a legacy. It's stability within the home. It's a long-term relationship and marriage. But there's a, there's a lack of a passionate new beginning here with this Ten of Pentacles. For others of you, it may come back together, but it'll probably end just as quickly as it comes back together. That Ace of Wands can be a false start when in reverse, What's the Ten of Pentacles about? One more card on the Ten of Pentacles. The star. Okay, so there's healing here. Aquarius energy. I do see you guys healing the situation, remaining hopeful, remaining, you know, keeping the hope and faith alive. Why the star? Why is the star here? So it, there's a good chance. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. See, still want, it's wanting to heal the situation and wanting to still put work and effort. That's your energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like there is going to be a, like a rekindling of this. But be careful because it could just end as quickly as it comes back together. All right. So be careful. For others of you, there's just a lack of a passionate new beginning and you guys are going to find commitment elsewhere. Okay. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Some of you may work with this person. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Why the Eight of Pentacles? 
and the strength sign of Leo. I feel like a lot of you have, may have a new Leo. They have Leo in their chart somewhere, okay? I feel like for about 75% of you, there's a lack of a passionate new beginning with this energy here. And then you guys have something else coming in with that Ten of Pentacles after healing with the star. Why strength? You'll have this, this strength and the courage, the confidence to overcome these obstacles and to move on. Why strength? Yeah, the Ten of Swords after an ending. Okay, we have a lot of tens in here and we have the world. So major cycles ending, okay? I feel like for the majority, Taurus still wants to put work into something that's just ending. We have like three tens in the world, okay? And I think for a lot of you guys, you will heal, okay? You're remaining hopeful, okay, that this will come back together. But with that Ten of Swords, I really do feel like this is a cycle that's completing, and I feel like once you guys let that cycle complete, you could have something new come in, okay? But you guys are remaining hopeful that whatever this is, is going to come back together. And I don't really see that happening, unfortunately. All right, well, let's pull some advice cards for you guys. Show us what Taurus needs to know, please, about their love life from February 1st through February 15th, 2019. All right, so the main advice here for you guys, Taurus, for those of you that this resonates, is to try to get untrapped. Like, try to release yourself because there's still, like, a lot of mental anxiety going on here from somebody that's just... There was either third party or just a breakup, I see here, with the energy. And I feel like if it does come back together and you let this person come back in, it's going to end again. Just be cautious with that, okay? I definitely feel like big cycles are, are completing here for Taurus over the next couple weeks for some of you. All right, so Romance Angels, what do you want Taurus to know? Please give us some additional advice for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please? February 1st through February 15th, 2019. What's coming in for Taurus, please? All right, yep. <laughs> Jeez, Wow what mom just said, free yourself. Okay, it's time to take back control of your life. We saw that, right? And I just said that too. Like free yourself, untrap yourself, get out of that mental prison. That's exactly what the romance angels are telling you to do as well, you guys. So again, for those that this does resonate, that this storyline does resonate, try to free yourself because you could have some other good stuff coming in. Be very, very cautious about you know, again, if this resonates and you're going through this with somebody, be careful about letting them back in because it could end again, okay, with that Ten of Swords. Give us one more card here, please, for Taurus. One more card for Taurus. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort to release yourself, to free yourself, okay, so that you can let more positive energy in here. All right, I'm going to pull one more Oracle card since that was such heavy energy. I do apologize, you guys, but I don't pick the cards. Somebody said the other day, there's so many reversals. Yeah, well, that's the energy, you know? I don't sit here and pick the cards. I do a mixture of reversals and uprights. It's just whatever comes out. And by the way, reversals aren't always bad, okay? They aren't. It depends on the card. It depends on, you know, the surrounding cards. So it's just, that's the message. All right, let's see. Give us some advice for Taurus. So this is from your guardian angel deck. I love this deck. It's amazing. It always gives really good advice. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 1st through February 15th, 2019. What does Taurus need to know? Please? Give us some, just some additional uh, guidance and advice for Taurus. One more shuffle, you guys, and we'll see what they have to say for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, a couple more shuffles, and we'll lay it out. Show us advice for Taurus. What else can you help a uh, Taurus with, please? Give us some additional advice, guidance. All right, let's take a look. All right, we got two of emotion. A relationship grows closer as two people fall in love, or a current relationship grows much stronger. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. Mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Don't give up on relationships that feel challenging to you. There's still hope, okay? I don't really see it with the current energy or whatever this is. I feel like, again, with make the effort, okay, once you release yourself from this, and again, we saw it in the outcome, there could be new relationships coming in from you for you guys, all right? With that two of emotion, you probably do feel like this is a soulmate as well. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll talk soon.